Ahoy hoy, ahoy lovers. Hello, how's everybody doing today? Oh my goodness, what a day. I know, it was what a, a crazy day. night last night. We were up late last night building, Ugh. right? We well, built until like 11 o'clock at night. Oh well, my goodness. a little before, we had some... I know, we say late. But, uh, 11 o'clock! I know, we used to not start getting ready to go out until 10 o'clock, and now we're waking up off the couch then. <laughs> So ridiculous. <laughs> All but right. this morning we were up bright and early taking some photos and video. Oh yeah, of... so you can see our you can our see piece. our photo shut up, set up back there with our with our yep. completed um, piece. With um, I fixed the windmill. It rotates without chattering now, and the train finally isn't smashing everything. It runs, you know, on its way. Yeah, yeah. It's tight. It's really small for a train layout. Um, I mean, I gotta say, there is, um, uh, oh, look at that. There is a, um, colossal amount of photos, y'all. Yep. Like, crazy, like, crazy cuckoo pants. Like, yep. I couldn't even believe the amount of stuff, um, <laughs> that is in there. This is gonna be a two-parter today. We think we're gonna start today and then finish on Monday, just because we don't want to rush through people's stuff. You all worked so hard on your stuff. We want to, you know, give it a chance for people to see it. Yeah. So please don't be bummed if your if yours doesn't show up today. We will be doing the rest of them on Monday. Yep. Which is still before everybody will see them at BritCon next weekend. Um, but the thing was, I know that we we gave the. Um, the uh, the date is today, and apparently today is the day that you get your mocks in um, if you want them to be uh, able to win a trophy. Yay! Oh, sorry to drone on. Thank you so much for the subscription. We appreciate that. Um, welcome, everyone. Say welcome. Yeah. So it is, and I am telling you, it is. It's uh, we. What did we say? One hundred and thirty-five photos plus some extras, plus videos, plus video. Yeah. There's which, a lot of color there. Yeah. So videos will happen on Monday. There were so many pictures that we didn't have room for the video as well. Um, so, but it's just because so many people took part and made so much cool stuff. Oh, so what the funny thing is, is so about similar, about a similar number of people. Mm. submitted but everybody's or not not everybody but a lot of people submitted like a crazy amount of stuff right like well once you've made one car then why not two and then why not five i know just talked about just talked to fabby fan mke if you want to know what that's like <laughs> <laughs> well we have um, some some really exciting mocks and again i love the way they all fit together it's just they're all from the same world yeah oh christopher coster is here hey, hey christopher. welcome good to see you hey cody how's it going thanks welcome, for liking cody. the stream um so yeah gosh i feel like we need to kind of dive right in but let's say so. hi to everybody who's here yeah who's checking his um, oh, we got a big one today. I can tell by this. I can always tell by the size of the scroll bar, like how many oh, people. Oh yeah. Are in this. <laughs> so uh, Alexander twenty three, Aqua Mike TV is here. Brick Brickanista, Brickworm, uh, Chief Brick Geek, uh, Christopher Gyro, Gyro Captain. Captain Chalice, my snake. Is it Euro or what, Gyro? I, I think maybe it depends. Are are we talking about a compass or something you eat? Steve Peterson. Hey Steve, how's it going? Welcome. Thanks for liking the stream. Um, Tornado is here. Crypto Jared. Debo Bricks. Fabu Fan MKE. Holly. Hooded One. John Luttrell. Joshua Steele. Julia Hornberger. Christopher Coster. Uh, LJ Mar uh, Marek is here. Yano. Uh, Yano is here. Hey, Yano. Maraid. Maraid coming Yay, in. Yay, Maraid. Uh, saving the day. Monica Berry. Moto. Minifig Chick. Osorg, Remy Baker, Rob Ketcherside, Rob, Rob Zicardi, Zicardi and the Zicardis, uh, Sarah Silverman, Shane, Shane LeVan, Levan, Stubot, the Hornburgers, ahoy hoy, all the Hoin all Hornburgers, the Hornburgers, the Hornburgers. <laughs> <laughs> where did that come from, um, the Jammy Bricker, uh, Wilfred is here, bonsoir, Zach Highmark, Zach Martinez, and, and Zarakino, Kim, of course, my goodness, what a, what a lineup. Yep. <laughs> it is. Up. We got a lot of people joining us today, and I think this was a t theme that really resonated with a lot of people, right? Because it's all messed up, but cute. Yeah. So I've got a Disney pin today. Um, we, our Fabuland figures, are just smashing stuff in their little town. Oh, my so, goodness. So I've got Baby Hulk today. 
It's funny, we have a similar, and this is me after not having gotten the sleep that I wanted last night, because not only was I up late building, but I was <laughs> um, up really early processing photos and watermarking them and all that good stuff. Well, it so. was just like getting ready for a convention, right? Like, who doesn't stay up late before the convention and during it? So I have a question for this, and this is something that you all can think about, but... So the mm. well, first of all, I wanted to let you know this Sunday we will be here yep. with our regular Sunday show. Next, Next Sunday, Sunday we will not be here. We are going to uh, forego doing the show for BrickCon so that people can go enjoy BrickCon, not have to feel beholden yeah, hang to like, out. be here and then go there. Um, we can all whoops, spread, we can all do that. Spread out the Lego and, we, and you know, and if we need a um, if we need to have a uh, a chill out room. You can, we can all go hang out at the Discord. Oh, <laughs> That's yeah. going to be like hard. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> it's funny. All the... Maybe mm. it's just one, but it seems like all the chill rooms that I've been to at conventions include blow-up furniture. Always. It's you know? always... Well, because then they, then they can store you pack, it. Pack it all down, right? Yeah, but it's always blow-up furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke up, Johnny. The Discord. If you want to find the Discord server, it is for um, our... Uh, uh, adult Tricky Lug members, so 18 yeah. up. But you can contact Shane Levan, who is in the chat right now. Um, you can find him on Instagram and he or uh, or talk to one of the other members here, and I'm sure they'll be happy to tell you how to get to the Discord. Um, uh, yes. Grabby fan, MKE, sell your shout on AFL Spotlight Live, right? Well, oh, you that's so cool. Yeah, and actually, so. We have Boone built something for this. Yep, he did. He built an amazing thing. Jake Sadovich built built something for this. Holly built something Holly for built this. something cool. Like, um, it was it was like a, a star celebrity star filled. Um, show. It was. We got a lot of creative excitement in this. So why don't we just like dive right into the photos <gasps> uh, pretty soon? Oh, a question. I was wondering yeah. before how somebody before somebody uh, asked this. Mm -hmm. um, is the windmill in the back tilting? If yes, is it supposed to be, or yes. is it falling? Yes, it, it is, is tilting, and yes, it's to supposed be. to be. Yes. We we built it purposely on an angle we, so that it would yeah. be like, like it's, it's on a rocker over. hinge and a rotator, and we, it was just a little bit. We put it on the rotator and it tilted a little, and we were like, yes, more yeah. of that. Yeah, and then we built up. You can't see right now, but it's got ground built all up around it. <laughs> so, um, oh, thanks, Jeff McElwee. Thank you so much. Um, we. So, oh my goodness, why? Um, so sorry, my computer yep. decides is just deciding to keep making noises for whatever reason, and it's kind of getting on my nerves. That's all right. Look, your mom is here. Yay, mom! Hi, mom. Welcome. Um, and it looks like, and Steve, and Steve Peterson, my mom is here on Facebook. It's uh, all the Facebook. Um, well, welcome uh, to. This is very exciting. Everyone who chats, everyone who doesn't chat, and whether you built something or didn't, um, welcome. Yeah. This is going to be a fun day. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and dive in because we don't, we will, it'll end up being like a six part episode. Oh, but yeah. you know what? I did want to show something um, a while ago. I got this a little bit a while ago and we didn't show it on the show. Um, but. Um, paint pusher, our dear friend Robert, um, made us this awesome little Logan to go with our um, oh wait was the, with our brickheads second, to go with no to go with our minifigs right so there you go there is little mini That's Logan so it's great. such a great he got little, his markings <laughs> so I know it's such a great little thing <laughs> oh Jake's here hey Jake hey Savage. Jake welcome. Um, all right, so as you know, we, oh, look, do, you got a script. we do these things in alphabetical order. So if you are in the end of the alphabetical order, it probably means we won't see your stuff until Monday, but I encourage everybody to stick around and yeah, last check but out not least. all this stuff because my goodness, it's crazy. Um, all right. So, and again, there are some videos. We'll be showing the videos on Monday. I think the mm -hmm. only video we're going to show today is is the one of ours. We're not going to show pictures of ours today, but we're going to show the video. All the other videos will be on Monday with the rest of them. Yep. Um, all right. So, golly, let's go ahead and start this crazy show here. Well, we're starting off with a bang. I am so 
I, I haven't seen a lot of these yet. Um, I'm so jealous of those red saw blades. Yes, yes. And you can see, look, and our, there's our wonderful logo. I watermarked all of the pictures. Yep. Um, with the uh, um, with the with the logo. So this is from Albert Lee, and it's just called "Ain't No Rest for the Wicked," and I love it so much. This is so fantastic. That crow pilot is awesome. Yeah, I really um, I need this. I need this. I, I need that. All of that. Wow, and the <laughs> the landscape with it, I think it's pretty cool too. The gyroplane. Oh yes, and Jake, I wanted to say, congratulations. I don't know if you all have heard or not, but the ship in a bottle idea set is being reissued. Oh I think yeah, the first time they've ever reissued um, an idea set, and it's and it's Jake's, and the set number is Jake's birthday. How awesome is that? That's so cool. like that is just that's so cool. <laughs> All right, but not to uh, not to distract. No, you. but that was Lego news. But that's that's big, pretty yeah. pretty good news. That was our jump over to Lego news, real quick. Um, all right. Well, I love the use of the mesas in the background to get some height on the helicopter. Yes. Oh yeah, Saturn V as well. Saturn V. All right. Okay, so this is from Avernus Workshop. Post-apocalyptic wind farm and Bigfoot. What better way to generate powder, power during an apocalypse than by strapping old car chassis to a windmill? Also, this vehicle is based on the Bigfoot from uh, Fury Road, but I ran out of time before I could add the weapons. It's fine. It's great. Um, this is uh, this is amazing. Wow, that windmill. You know it would be really noisy when it was windy with that thing, right? Just I love squeaking. it. And there is a video of this, which we will show oh, cool. um, uh, next week. But this is really, this is really, really fun. Uh, oh, and here's some some more pictures. And look, he used the tricky, uh, tricky lug and tricky bricks. bricks oh, in that's his truck. great! This is awesome. I mm. think the use of grills there is a re really nice, you know, to have that big sort of face yeah. on the front. And Boone is here. Hey Boone. hey, Boone, how's it going? All right, this is from Ben Dury. When the world fell into ruin, Egypt was engulfed in sand. The sand was infested with sand vipers, making traveling across it on foot impossible. And the sand made it difficult for wheeled vehicles to get across without getting stuck. Many people got stuck and died in the desert, leaving behind their cars, which were worth their weight in gold. Scavengers knew the cars were valuable, so they constructed a walker that could walk on sand without sinking into it. They also made it in the shape of a camel to scare away <laughs> sand vipers. The cars were recovered, and the parts were used to help build the first city after the collapse of the society. That's right awesome. On. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. That is really good. In this first shot, it's sort of sphinx-like when it's seated. Yes. <laughs> um, I like the use of Technic in here combined with... Well, Bionicle and, and Technic go really well together, right? Yes. Is that Hero Factory or Bionicle? Maybe Hero Factory. Uh, it might also be the buildable figures, like the Star like Wars. From Star like from The chess piece looks like one of the Star Wars buildable yep. figures, but that's awesome. I love it. And there's the other side of it. All right. What the this heck is this? This is from Boone. And Boone... Um, Golly, let me see. Boone, I hope I got the got the right one. Um, but this is called Quake and Bacon or Swine <laughs> Fever or When Pigs Ride. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called all of those. I think it's called awesome. Well, I love Oops. the I love the face on it. It's so good. It's so good. Just That's like great all of and it. all the details. Definitely a, a home hack by members of the Furry Road. And and I know, Boone, you asked me to show a specific picture, and that one made it into the one for BrickCon, but I think it might have didn't make it in for this one. I apologize for that. But as you can see, we had a lot of entries. This is a fantastic build, fantastic car. Um, yeah, the, the face, that huge fender on the back. Yeah, it's just really... Mm. And the curves really, really add fun. a lot of action to it, too, right? Like that antenna with the flag on it. Yeah, and of course I chose the wrong one. <laughs> so, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, there, there's so many good, there were so many good photos, like just trying to choose, like, the one that was going to, to, to work. But let me see if I can, um, whoopsie, let me see if I can do this. I wonder if I can add a this... 
What see. live Seat of Your Pants Productions presents <laughs> High Tech Deep Dive. Yeah, watch this, everybody. See, we'll see if this happens. We'll see if this actually happens. I'm going to try and... Look at that. Ta-da! So that's there we the go, other everybody. Photo right there. That's the other photo of Boone's that I forgot that I didn't get in. This is the really this is the one that he preferred. Here's so there you go. Orthogonal view there. <laughs> Looks super three D. Really fun. Wow, I like the jet engine on the back. The red jet engine. How fortunate is that? That's awesome. Thank you so much, Boone. All right. Next up, we have. I'm gonna. I gotta get back to my script here because I'm doing oh, a little I bit love of bouncing those, back and forth. I love those big sort of gear tower top things like so, we used in Snake Queen. So this is Brickanista, and this is um, Perry Panda and Bianca Lamb have hired Super Sewer Baby to protect them as they travel through the <laughs> wastelands to meet up with the Resistance headquarters. Super Sewer Baby has recruited Super Stinky Baby and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as extra protection as they ride through the desert um, in their Panda Power Max vehicle. As they head towards the safe house bunker to meet the rest of the Fad Max crew, Clover, Cow, and Ice Ice Baby are in close pursuit in their swirly gig gyroscope, hurtling their ice cream scoops toward them. Uh, thankfully, Super Sewer Baby and the heroes thwart their frozen attack and protect the Fabuland characters to get them safely for another mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> I love oh the details goodness. in this. The ch the different chains on the two vehicles, the use of that large yellow pulley, yeah. um, sort of Technic pulley, but my favorite is the wheels on the vehicle. I think they're great. Oh, Peter Hornberg, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> the behind the scenes is definitely like, can be a little intense. <laughs> I'm going to say that fine. So I appreciate the shout out. Thank you so much. Yeah, all while um, I'm co hosting. I know. Um, let's see. All right, this is Brickaroo Bonsai. Um, due to a successful test of the Oscillation Overthruster, Brickaroo Banzai finds himself stranded in another dimension on a post-apocalyptic world running rampant with, uh, with, um, running rampant with gangs of humanoid animals fighting each other for what resources that remain. Having crashed the jet car when he first arrived, Brickaroo manages to rebuild it from parts that lay strewn across the wastelands and is hopeful that he will make it home, be able to return to his own dimension soon. Will Brickaroo Bonsai get the Oscillation Overthruster to work again and make it home? Stay tuned for Brickaroo Bonsai and Fab Max Adventures on the Furry Road. <laughs> this is so wonderful. I love it, Brickaroo. Fantastic. Yeah, the lines are great on it. It's got it makes great use of actual Fabuland parts. And yeah. then what is with that that sort of muffler exhaust pipe there? Yeah, even, that's really cool. Is, is that a candle in the middle? I can't tell what's going on there. Yeah, I'm not sure either, but it's kind of awesome. Yeah, they're great shapes. <laughs> this is great. Really great lines. All right. This is from Brickworm. Um, this is called the Scorpiote 390. Oh, S Scorpiote. The coyote oh, like gang. a coyote. Yeah, yeah. the guy, coyote gang took a 390 helicopter, gave it a scorpion makeover, and now take it to the apocalyptic skies. This, this is, is fantastic. so inventive and a beautiful photo, too. That's really fun. You can just see, like, there's so much action with that. <laughs> That's my favorite photo of it there, where you just see that scorpion tail sticking up with the rotor on it. Yeah, oh, and so Boone says the exhaust pipe is an actual Fabuland element. So there oh, you go. Yeah. it's All great. Right. I thought that was some smooth construction. <laughs> Love it, Brickworm. <laughs> All right. This is from Chris Chalice. I've gone for a gyrocopter and pilot for Fab Max 2. He is flying above Max, dropping snakes and firebombs on the bad guys. But in the end, he got shot down and crashes. Oh, oh my goodness. No. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Flying snakes and bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Super fun. Oh my goodness! All right, what is that? Is that string tut or or wire? 
you know, in the front around the around the engine there. It's a great it looks like oh, string. It's, oh yes, yeah, string, and then there's also that rope going front to back. Very cool. And there's the Aww, broken, crashed. Poor little guy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this is from <laughs> Cornado. This is the Fab Max Bandmobile. Yes. Um, I it's love like this Burning so Man. much. I love this so much. It's really, really fun. They are cranking the <laughs> Fabulan tunes. Uh, Alex23, I, um, Maraid put the slideshow together, and if you sent something in, then I'm sure that it's in here. And if it's not, we'll make sure that we, uh, we grab it on the flip side and have it, um... Monday. Have it, yeah. Let me see. I want to see something real quick and see if maybe it's not under... Oh, you know why? You're under S. Um, yeah, so it's definitely in here. So, that, so that'll probably be on yeah. Monday, right? All right, so Cornado. Um, the, this is the, the, I love this piece just so much. It's so good. And we've seen some little previews, and I love the giant, um, the giant puffy tires. Well, that, <laughs> that crowd in the back looks like they're out for trouble. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Uh, and there's another one of that. And then I this. I want to see all these pieces together on like, I some know, huge I want them to be table. on one table. Um, and this is the Fab Max Hooligan Hauler. <laughs> um, this is so great. Oh, and this is the one. Someone is in trouble Yeah, it's there. the one that has the guy strapped to the, to the front of it. He and is I, having a hard day. And I love that the whole thing's like kind of being hauled by a scooter. <laughs> I know. It's so... The scooter's so cute, but it's got giant, you know, <laughs> giant engine on it. <laughs> it's really good. And then what's the, we've got a, an alligator manning the, um, operating the cannons. Um, yes. Yes. The three cannons. Oh, and that's a great another, shot, another of shot of it. Of that's it. great. Okay. So this is from See you later. Um, nice background. It says, I'm terrible at mocks, but my brain doesn't do so well with it, so I had to try and tap into my inner 10-year-old to overcome my brain block. I don't I, I think I, it I worked. Understand. Seriously, I don't build mocks, so this is the first. Um, Yay. I don't have any Fabuland, so I just picked up some old bricks I got from my nephew. Thank you so much for the opportunity to partake in virtual BrickCon. Um, that this is great. See you later. This is it's, great for it's your. It's wonderful. It fits the theme perfectly. The color, the shapes. First mock, very impressive. And look at that background too. He created this really interesting background. Out yeah, of out of like material. packing material. That's so great. This is so funny. It's so funny. I think like we hardly made any vehicles for ours. Like we have. Well, a, we we have three a train, a train, a boat, and, and a scooter. And a scooter, yeah. But we were really more like the one that we built. That's really more the place where everybody goes and parks their cars. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's like kind home of base. Like, ours is kind of like Animal Crossing meets Fallout. It's like every <laughs> yeah, everyone else comes and and raids our town or comes and has a Hopefully party. Hopefully not raids. Has but... a party. I don't know. Someone ran into the windmill. So that oh, this is great, and here's another one the with lettering. the building. That lettering is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So good, so good. <laughs> so who is this? These are all um, these are all. See you later. Oh, great, really great. Oh, and so it's hooked up um, like those those Fabulan chassis can hook up like a train. So that's a. Are yeah. those two cars going different? No, I think they're hooked together. Nice. All right, this is from Dave, my friend, uh, my my friend Dave, Dave, Brick Picker Dave. You may have heard me talk about him before. Yep. Um, this is his little. So that's the back of it, and there's the front. And he was telling me like, I don't really know what you're looking for. I was like, just bit. And of course, he I came think up he, with something he amazing. He figured it out. <laughs> those cow catchers are great on cars. I want one of those on my car. I know. Should right? we put be, one on our car? Be helpful. And here's another one. Here's another one by Dave. I love this little compact. And I love that brown piece on the front. This and is the, super fun. Is that fun. roll cage Star Wars? Um, I think so. Yeah. And then this one, now I have to admit, I we took these photographs for him and I did this, I did a little Photoshop work on the next one just because I thought it was so funny. Um, 
Oh no, I didn't put the one with the backdrop in. Oh, there it there is. There it is. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, that's the one I did with the backdrop. That's guy. <laughs> These two really jousting are so fun. Yeah, I think this is one of my... Oh, is it Power Miners? Yeah, I have a bunch of those for some reason. Oh, you, the Royal Cage is... Oh, Rock yeah. Raiders. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Thanks, Boone. Of course you know that. <laughs> this is... I And I love these the idea of these two scooters just coming. They're so cute, and yet he's got this, like, giant... <laughs> halberd or whatever those weapons are i think it's a i like the weapons katana. that people chose um for their pieces like it, it's all giant cannons and absurd axes oh my goodness okay thank you dave for that and for dropping those off so this is from um debo bricks uh mm, great base too through the wasteland of retired lego theme themes runs the furry road the blue bayou, driven by fuzzy warbles, is in need of repair. Hoping to find a quiet place to fix it, he takes a detour. Just as the rabbit-elephant duo of Haas and Pepper arrive with the <laughs> raccoon mechanic, Curiosa, they are spotted by a Chima sentry. Uh, Curiosa must now make the repairs on the fly, hanging from the side of Haas and Pepper's sawfish fusion powered strike. Q saw 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 saw. Oh my goodness. Um, she hasn't had her coffee yet and is less than pleased with the circumstances, but the Chima take no prisoners. <laughs> that is, there is so much action here. I, I love the base. Is that, was that from like a, not a soccer stadium? Yep. There's yeah, something like that, right? Yeah, so soccer or, um, or football as they call in the, uh, thing. Doc and Sampson look, is here. How's it going, Doc? Welcome. There's a Fabulan tree in the background there. Yep. I think, and all those windows make a great background too. Oh, is that the same thing? Yes. Yeah, these, so are, these, these are, are the vehicles. These are the vehicles in more of a, uh, of a close up so you can see it. I named my Lammy figure Furiosa. Of course, <laughs> great addition of Chima in here too. Mm -hmm. All right. Now this is from Fabufan MKE. Um, now there's a lot of these, <laughs> and, and I apologize that I don't um, have all of them, like have all of the names of them. But we're just gonna kind of go through and look at how amazing these all are. Now I might Fabulan Prodigy right here. Well, he's kind of kicked everything off, right? I mean, I think that he was kind of the he was kind of the. Um, the, the In kickoff, inspiration, the inspiration right? for and all of gave this. us those inspirational photos to begin with. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to see if um if I might be able to find his so that I can tell you what they are called. Yeah, we just saw it. They were just up right there. Yep, there we go. All right, so this is called bus. <laughs> this is the bus. This Yay, is you another fit in another the carpet beater. The bus. I love this so much. <gasps> what drumsticks? Those are great. Okay. This one is called Cart. <laughs> now, <coughs> with his pickaxe and sledgehammer in the in the backpack. Yeah, this is amazing. Wow, well, you know that yellow piece that all the that all the spears are stuck in. I mm -hmm. never know what to do with that. I mean, I know it has pinholes in it. Oh yeah, I've used it for an ice cream cone before. Oh, like, on, there's on a couple your of things. Unikitty Cafe. Yeah, um, there's a there's a couple of things you can use it for. That is awesome. Well, the thing, one thing I love about these is it really has all the scale right in for Fabulan, right? right. These big chunky blocks of color, but it still has all those apocalyptic details. So here's like a here's like a landscape version with all the vehicles included. <laughs> They're coming at you. Look at that one with the tusks. <laughs> that truck with the tusks is crazy. These are great. Okay, so this is the quad one. All right. And there's quad two. I said quad one like it was the name of it. That's just the Oh, that's the, the number photo. of the photo. <laughs> Yeah, and those um, those pieces that I think are from a transmission, yeah, um, which are on top of those pipes, are great. It's so fun. Okay, correct, correct me if I'm wrong about transmission, but I think I saw those in the um, 
uh, uh, crane, the hauler crane. And this is um, Rocket. <laughs> Rocket. Right, so few pieces, but so much detail. This one. Yay. Now we've seen this one. Yeah, this is the sp this is the spike. With all yeah, the spikes that's on great. It. This was one of the original ones, I think. Um, really, really cool. I love this one. This is called the spinner. Whoa, with that <laughs> blade. Got the saw These blades. Are regular like um, survival research laboratories of fabulous. It is, it is. And if you're from the Bay Area and you know what survival research laboratories is, then okay. you're old. If you've never heard of survival <laughs> research laboratories, just check them out. They made crazy robots that fought each other before anyone else was doing that. And this is that I know of. the tanker. That truck, right? With the tusks on the front. Yeah, it's really, really, really good. And then the <laughs> scale of the big yellow flag is pretty cool. Yes. Really fun. These are so fantastic, Fabby Fan. Like, I'm super yeah. impressed. I mean, I expected nothing less uh, from you than 97 different vehicles with that were all amazing. Yeah. Look at this action shot with the bulldog hanging on the whip. <laughs> and then this one is called the Tread because it has... Treads. <laughs> and, and those are really, are those old school Lego wheels? Really old school Lego wheels, right? Yeah, these are fantastic. Yeah, it's the, yeah, the really old ones. And I love this piece. The wrecking ball is yep. great. Well, that's like our D&D game. It is. Wow, Fabby Fan MKE, that was epic. That Thank was you like for an all epic, the... epic, epic list of, of vehicles there. <laughs> Thanks for all the inspiration. Whoa, oh my goodness! Okay, what this is the um, heck? Femme from the Block, our own of Yano. Of course, amazing lighting. Amazing lighting, amazingly well done, super fun. I love the I love the close upness of the picture, and that vehicle is great. Yep. I love that piece on the front there. Well, all the tiny details. I mean, I love the shallow depth of field. So in the distance, on the far right there, you can see that little, um, you know the brown vine piece yep just gives such a great silhouette and the the um radar di or um satellite dish on the roof as well yes fabulous people really like battle well they are in they are in the apocalypse it, this so is, that would be yep this is the furry road <laughs> things are rough on the furry road oh look this at all that one's plate great work. i love it oh my goodness and the perspective of it and the plate and the how fire it, on the road. Yeah, ripping up the road. So good. So good. And really, I mean, nice photos and nicely lit. Yeah, nice overall and using that square aspect ratio really well. All right. This is from... E... Oh, and there is, a, there is a video, by the way, of Yano's that we will see on Monday. Mm -hmm. All right? Is, there, um, is this Gilles? No. Uh, this, yes. So this is um, uh, Gilles Mandu. Gilles Mandu, yes. A, 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 I, I believe a friend of Wilfred's. Oh, cool. Um, who's never sent anything into us before, but was inspired because they're into Fabuland. So they made this, these couple of great <laughs> little, there's like a little building there in the background, and then there is a close-up of the um, of the the uh, vehicle. I like that, um, the sideways fence piece yeah, there. Yeah, like it's like little wings on. on there. Really nice. And then in the um, in the earlier photo, mm -hmm. yes. What about it? Um, just uh, I really like the big ugly rock pieces as the chimney there. Yes, very nice. I love it. I we probably pronounced his name. Wrong. Yeah, I know. Apologies. Help, please correct us. <laughs> we want to get people's names right. Oh, he's Belgian. Oh, very good. All right. Mm. Well, welcome to the. Um, Welcome to the uh, to the team. I was only in I was in Brussels once to uh, for a concert that, mm. I, that I was lighting, and I had amazing food and saw beautiful statues and fountains. So this is from Holly, and this is the Fabuland stacks. <laughs> Imagine with the with that looks like a picture of real sky recently in the background there. It is a re it is the real sky, I believe. Right? Well, how amazing is this? 
Are those like windmill parts or, or ship rigging parts? The the gray fences going across there, maybe giant ship rigging. Yeah, those are those. Yeah, those long like ship rigging parts. This is great, really, really well done, Holly. <laughs> I know it's it's bigger than the Monkey Kid Secret HQ. So well, check said. out the swing. On yes, the, it's like a swing <laughs> on a crane, like the the most dangerous amusement park. And gosh, I see stuff like this, and I feel like ours is lacking. I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Really. <laughs> It's pretty cool. I think the silhouette with the with the black truss pieces on that crane on the right gives it a really great wicked look. Yeah, it's really fun. It's a question with Fabulan, right? Like how do you how do you rough it up and black seems to do a really good job. Nice, Holly. This is a great close up from Holly. I love it. I mean, there's so much going on that you kind of have to see some close ups. So the crane is Duplo, very good. I love the cannon and that the, the the lamb is apparently a meat eater. It looks like an <laughs> like an armored vehicle. Yeah. Okay, this is from Hooded One. Um. I had the so who did one says no story. It was a fun build and something I would have never done myself. Was well, so glad that you did. <laughs> yeah, that passenger compartment in the bottom there, I think, is is really nice. With the is it macaronis around the front? Uh, so oh, so oh yeah, um, there we go. He says I um I had those wheels based on the Ferris wheel base lying around, so they became a seed part for this build. It's huh. large, it's heavy. <laughs> I am sure. But this is, I think this is fantastic. Wow. Is So is that conveyor belt tread turned backwards to make those wheels? That's what it looks like. I think so. Like, that's a that's really tight. It's really clever. I love the way this looks. And I love those giant wheels. They just make me really happy. <laughs> well, and how the gunners have those heads-up displays in front of them. Yeah. <laughs> Super fun. And the front of the vehicle's crazy, too. Wow, and I love the wind sail. Boost. Yeah, that's so cool. Wow. And with all that black, this is like, um, this is like the Blacktron version. <laughs> oh, hi Boone again. Hey, There's... welcome, welcome back. Hey Boone, there you went. There's uh -huh. where your other picture went. I knew I had it in here. It popped in. So this is from Jake Sadovich, and I am <laughs> super into this so much. And I love the fact that um. Uh, he says, I don't have a story, but the two characters are in reference to Master Blaster and Blaster Master from Beyond the Thunderdome. <laughs> I love that he's got, like, he's got the little guy hanging. So he swapped the heads from the Technic figure and yeah. the Fabulan figure, and then the little Technic figure now on a Fabulan body is, like, strapped to his back. <laughs> This is so good. Well, I love the, it. The line work on that chopper is crazy. Just the the really minimal use of the um of the Technic pieces to make yeah. to make the part of it. That <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Look at him all it. all kicked back with his long legs and the treads. Um, the treads on the wheels are yeah so around the place. This is so good. It's, it's so just good, Jake. Super clean, and I love it. Okay, like Boone and Jake both you know like didn't like decided to do this yesterday and of course they come up with outrageously amazing stuff right <laughs> well so i did good. i did discover that technic has some great primary colored parts that normally i'm like ma ah, these primaries are ruining my cool <laughs> model and they were just perfect for this and there's another what one what is that seat is that a dedicated piece yeah that's like it's there's like a weird little control seat i have a red one of those somewhere and this this detail on the top, yeah. the yellow detail above the exhaust pipes is really nice too. Nice work, Jake. Really fun, and the com just the, the combination of pieces that make up the front of it are just so yeah. so great. Well, it reminds me of the way they would weld stuff together on American or what is it, Orange County Chopper? One of the, the one where the dad and his son fight all the time. Oh, I've seen the meme. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was a great show. It was a really good show, and they made. Am amazing metal stuff. Anyway, great shapes on this. Yeah. And I, I love the little guys sitting right behind him looking at the camera too. <laughs> <laughs> when the shades on. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, it's a Technic seat apparently. And is th that almost looks like a pullback motor in the back, but I'm probably wrong. Like little Technic gray parts. Cool. 
Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> so this is from Joshua Zender. Oh, damn. Welcome to the world beyond law and order. Apocalypse X, the perfect place for an old friend, Sir Meltalot, who is sitting in the red chair in front of the blue building. Um, oh, there we there go. There he is. Um, and it's called The Station is a Fabulandish Spot to Hang Out. Uh, and refuel, restock, or for the craziest bunch like Scars in the front of the station wearing a silver hat. Also, you see Roxas standing front and center with his blaster. And last but not least, Chipsy Deletta. Oops. Let's go back to the previous photo there. Yeah, Chip, Chip and Dale Chipsy. are amazing in this. <laughs> I love this. Those vehicles are great. And then the gas station, or the, you know, like, kind of filling station yeah well and i love the imagination that people used to do you know like okay well we don't have fabuland figures so what about chip and dale or what about chima or yeah we, you know whatever like it just it came really really good and i think all right joshua Steele, we'll see you later the lines on these vehicles with with some very like basic slope parts and mm -hmm. all that are really great yeah it's really fun and the whole little scene with like the blue building and all of it really really good Oh my goodness, this Talk one Talk about colorful. Is... Maraid. Maraid. Fab Maxine built a lovely home in the old Fab Mall for her friends to shelter. They share meals together, play games, and patrol the neighborhood for evil COVID monsters. But most importantly, they recycle their water to keep the cool vehicles fab. For this build, I used vintage Duplo, Lego, Technic, Samsonite gears, Nexo, Bionicles, Whoa. train parts, and Chima. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's crazy. This is um this is amazing Maraid, and I only wish that we had time to like examine it in really, more detail. Really close. I love the the color blocking and the various <clears throat> which sort of separates and gives focus to the various areas. Yeah. The car down on the right is great. Yes. As well as this like Little gear car weird thing. Weird gear car is awesome. And she went wow, for a pile Maraid, of... holy bananas. You really just, you went, you went 100% there. This is incredible. And that, uh, again, with wind power, with the windmill and the raised, um, the cool raised roller coaster, too. So fun. Wow, there's so much going on there. I heard It looks like a place. Yeah, look, set. there's <laughs> the sticker on the upper We're up floor. there. It's awesome. Yeah, this is amazing. And also, I just wanted to remind everyone that we will be posting all of these photos on our website. So you will be able to go and look at them all in detail. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as much as you want um, down the line there. All right. Well, so is this a close up? This is also Maraid? Yes. This is a close up of that of great car. car. Yep. Very good. Very good. Ugh, and that one. one with the gears. <laughs> Wicked. There is so much going on here. I, it's oh yes, and you use the bam bams. Wow, really nice maraid. Whoa, gosh. Whoa, a brick built big wheel. I want to see all of these in close up. The trike is amazing. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, so this is. I know it's like it's um, it's like fab fabuland overwhelming. Right. <laughs> um. All right, so this is from Matthew Bild. Fab Max was bombed uh, by Boris Bulldog, so the fleet of Fab Max vehicles have been sent out uh, to the windmill. Very cool. I love all these little vehicles. Very, very That cool. one with the broom on the front is great. Yes. Oh, the rake. The or the rake. Yeah, yeah the rake. Like... <laughs> wow, Matthew, these are great. Super fun. <laughs> I love it. The, uh, the teeth are nice. I kept wanting to use teeth in ours, too. I know, too. I know. Let's see. Okay, well, you know, before we move on to the next thing, it's about that time, everyone. That special certain time of the day. <laughs> if I can get to it. Yay, Hi, Logan is here. Hi. 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 He says, yeah, we've, we've been Hang looking later. It's at cute time. animals all morning, but they're not as cute as you. Oh, see? Okay. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> good nice. Boy. Here, you get one more. You just get halves. <laughs> right? Sound of happiness. 
<laughs> Yay, Logan. Good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Yay. <laughs>
<laughs> Lash your shotgun and knife to the door. Grab your creative dinky D dog food and follow Max on his journey on Fab Max Furry Road. This is... That's great with the hard shadow. Amazing. What a beautiful shape. This is so good. This is really, this is like silhouette to the <laughs> next. Really, really fun. And wait, now what happened to Moto's car? The other car. I'm very confused. Well, he made that, that crazy car that, that was an early submission, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to find why, for whatever reason, it's not uh, the big car isn't in here. But, you know, we will show it on uh, on Monday. Here, do we need to make a note of that? Yeah, make a note, because, I mean, we've all, we all, I'm pretty sure we all saw it. I'm not sure why it didn't make it into uh, this particular uh, one, but golly, sorry we'll about go that, Moto. Um, and we also have a video from Moto that we will also show on Monday. But this is fantastic. I love it. 100%. All right. So this is from Joshua Zender. No. Why? Wow. I'm skipping over things. Oh, okay, y'all. This is, um, this is the deal. Okay, let me go back. This is a different vehicle. This was... Yeah, things got confused a little bit. Oh, here. I thought I so didn't this fully is, understand. Yeah, I didn't either. This is called the Fab and the Furious. War rigs are not safe from these furious marauders. Driven by the humongous chef, this uh, crew includes a hippo with a harpoon and a hippo right. with a wrecking ball, a cat with a hydraulic kitty litter bucket, and a war cat. There are two cannons in the body and bombs on the rear to roll into the enemies. <laughs> this is great. Um... And then uh, the war cat is the wild one who causes a catastrophe by spraying some nip, screaming, witness meow, <laughs> and jumping through the air to deliver an explosive charge into other vehicles. Don't worry, the cat always lands on its feet. This is this fantastic. took a little longer than one day to build. Yeah, sorry, uh, sorry about the confusion there, folks. Wow, those arches in it are really beautiful, too. Yeah. And I apologize. I know normally I would, like limit the number of images but honestly it took so long to process this stuff um that i did not have time to like do a bunch like to edit a bunch of there stuff. was a, a bunch of batch processing right yeah the, uh, yeah yes <laughs> all right so this is from patrick wismer bruiser bulldogs rat rod and wrecker rabbits buzzsaw hovercraft the initial design for Bruiser's Rat Rod was based on the Munster's Coach. Yes! <laughs> um, and it kind of mutated from there. And if you haven't seen the Munster's Coach, you need to go look it up because it's amazing. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, where was I at? Uh, Wrecker's Hovercraft came from a desire to build something different from the wheeled vehicles. A very fun challenge. Thank you. Well, thank you, Patrick. These are well, they're both fantastic. Great. Really, really fun. Yeah, I can see the Munster inspiration there yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And I always love those old wheels. <laughs> so, can you imagine what so this fun. one sounds like? I know. One, I love like the hydrofoil wheel on the back. That's yep, so the much. The yellow hoses, the gray hoses add this great like conduit curvy hose quality. Yeah. Well, and look at the what they did with the base. What is that? What is that shape that's on the base? Is that an actual boat piece? I'm not sure, but they're really cool. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's so is this is something different then? Yes. This is another one. All right. This is from Rob Ketterside, called The Mail Will Goat Through. Lisa Lamb is steering the letter lorry. Billy Goat is going to gruff up anyone who messes with his mailbox. You can trust your parcel will get posted, even in post-apocalypse. Oh, <laughs> this is great! Oops, no, <laughs> this is super. Well, fun. the the base, the base, first of all, is so great, and and the use of those those are actual Fabuland pieces, those cloudy, curvy ones. Yeah, right? I think those are um, older Lego pieces. I don't know that they're strictly Fabuland. Well, they but, yeah, go those so are really well cool in pieces. this. Yeah, the base design is gorgeous. Really, really cool. Yeah, and the whole shape. I wanted to. <laughs> We wanted to use the slide and couldn't quite fit it yeah, in. Yeah, we couldn't quite figure that out, but you know. The lines of this are so fun, and I always like these diagonal presentations, too. <coughs> Excuse me. You all right there? Yep. 
All right. I'll get you some water. This is from Rob. No, that was a. So this is from Rob Rob Zaccardi. This is called. Um, wait now. This does not look like. Oh my goodness. Okay, can somebody give me a heads up? Zaccardi's is this y'all? I just want to make sure. Yeah, we um, have we have several entries, different vehicles. So actually, that does fit the photo limit because they were different mocks, right? Yeah, but I'm just looking for the to make sure that I've got the right description. That's all. I want to make sure that I'm descri describing that. Um, Barbed wire pieces. Um, so anyone can anyone claim this? We're having a little confusion in the script on this one. Um, okay. I'm going to scroll through these real quick and just see. I'm pretty sure that these are the... Oh, you know what I can do? Is oh, I can yeah, it's right there. over here. Here we go. Now I know what order these oh, are look, supposed to be Oh, look, those in. are Rob Zaccardi. They are Rob Zaccardi. So okay. These are Rob's landscapes. <laughs> these are the landscapes With the that he boarded did. up doors, the holes in the walls. Yep. I like the Technic bricks. I use Technic bricks in ours, too. Very fun. Very fun. fun. Majorly featuring road. Wow. An old school roof, too. Like, the earliest Fabuland stuff had those those um, steppy the roofs. The steppy roofs, that's right. Yeah, we looked at pictures of those. Okay, now I think we're getting to the vehicle. So this is vehicle one. There aren't too many waterways in the world of Fab Max Ferry Road, but when you see a river, you'll need to keep watch for one of the few remaining patrol boats, armed with a large ion cannon on the bow and pivoting, excuse me, laser guns on the stern. This beast of a boat is a dangerous sight to see. That's pretty high tech. Ion cannons. I know, I know. <laughs> so good. That is a smart bulldog. Okay. Whoa, this that is, is wonderful. Oh yeah, let me see which one this one is. This is his vehicle two. So that would be this one. Made with the cab of an old 18-wheeler, this behemoth is armed to the teeth and ready for action. Inspired by G.I. Joe's Snowcat, there are tank treads along with a pivoting rocket launcher in the rear. Wow. That's a great shot coming right at you. A pivoting... Oh, I see the rocket launcher, right. So this one is wait, am I am I this confused? Is number, this is no, this is a different this vehicle. This is a different one. This is road vehicle number two. This is banana spikes protect this elongated tow truck's powerful engine. Um, chainsaws were installed in the front headlights for tearing up the backs of enemy vehicles. And if a vehicle isn't close enough for that, then our driver pulls on the cable to release a boulder from the top rear basket down the slide. Nice <laughs> nice boulder there with the um Wow, how it how is that done? Those look like they're um, those are all backwards fitting um, those little skids, right? They yes. go underneath plates. Really <laughs> nice, nice other shot. I love this one. Oh my Whoa. goodness! All right, so High this tech is again. Um, is this the motorcycle? Yeah. So this is not all vehicles can be judged by their side. This motorcycle is equipped with a very dangerous sidecar. Aerodynamic brushes on the motorcycle's fin allow for quick turns, but they also provide a nice aesthetic visual, <laughs> like a post-apocalyptic dream catcher. <laughs> oh, that'd be a great band name, post-apocalyptic dream catcher. That is my new band name. I call it... <laughs> um, well, and, and the then... fox is great in this. Very, very good. It's all very, like, pointy forward. Thank you so much. Okay, this is from Alex. And is that a hidden side? It's Alex piece 23. In the front? It, I don't know. It looks like it's got teeth on it. This is amazing. So, this is um, Hamilton Squeaky Squad has brought forth terror across the wasteland in their big old mom, uh, their big old mamma jamma. They capture and eat their prey, thus the doghouse with skeletons inside it. Oh, my, oh God. my goodness. Um, they are prepared for everything, including having a minigun powered by their fellow brethren to a catapult, launching flying fur balls of terror down on their victims. Squeaky Squad has only one thing on their mind, to conquer and rule. Look at the teddy bear on the front of it. Yeah. That's it right there. Teddy, teddy bears and skeletons. Teddy bears and skeletons. <laughs> Fab Max Furry Road. The, the Fab Max Furry Road story. 
I love the Chima, like using the Chima yeah. head and this big fig. And the hamster. And, and the there's helmet. the hamster. Because the hamster in a helmet is always hilarious. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hamster in a helmet, always hilarious. Aqua sharks. What's aqua it's, sharks? That was a. Um, aqua knots, I know, was a thing. Yeah, the te the teddy bear with the flaming helmet is pretty uh, is pretty great. Yeah, or it's a um a hamster. Hamster. That, yeah, that's uh, Hamilton from Squeaky Squad. Awesome, I love it. You know what? I think we're actually gonna get through all of these. You think? Yeah, believe oh, it or not. All right, here I'm gonna step away just for a moment, and I'll be right back. Okay. okay. All right, this what? is from the Hornburgers. After all of the flowers dried up from climate change. Mary Go Frown looked. <laughs> Mary Go Frown looked for another means for survival. The strapped pyrotechnics to their rock and roller took their their music across the dusty plains. Wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> I'll be right back, Clint. You do not have to change your name, Rob. Please don't. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is super fun. I love the fly the cat flying on. This is like a super action shot, right? Just like really, really clever the way it's done. Like with the leg kicking up and and the fun thing is that vehicle is tiny. It's tiny, but it's so clever and fun. I really, I really loved it. Real really, really fun. Okay. This one, oh wow, that alligator sure likes to shoot guns. It's the second time we've seen it. <laughs> this is from Travis Taylor. Uh, there's no description, but um, uh, Travis says, thanks guys, it was a ton of fun, you're welcome. I'm so glad that um, I'm still like kind of, everybody's done such an amazing job. Oh, and with your tricky, with your tricky lug uh, bricks, very nice. Whoops. Go back one. I love this. I love the wheels. I love the little, the red macaronis. Oh, I love anything with those big exhaust pipes on it. It's so fun. Um, and then we got our alligator here manning the guns in the back. And the double wheels on the side here are pretty fantastic, too. <laughs> All right. Very nice. All right. And last, well, they're not last, actually. Um, but this is from Wilfred. And this is called Tea Room on Wheels, or short, T-O-W. I'll be right back, Clint. Okay. In a post-apocalyptic world, everyone needs a nice cup of tea. <laughs> it's true. Um, this build has system, Fabuland, Technic, and Duplo bricks, some snot work, mixel joints, and more. It also has a lower and upper floor, which are fully accessible, like in a modular building. Plus, the T-O-W is swooshable. You can 100% lift and hold the T-O-W by the handle and move it around. Amazing. So fun. Come back to that one in a second. Um, well, there's there's a, quite a few shots of this. So we, we, we now we did include uh, more than the usual number of shots because um, there, you know, with builds this big, you have to. I mean, look at that. It's like you know what this makes me think of is it makes me think of Mark's um, rolling Ninjago City, right? I love that it's chunky. And I love that the whole like it's just like a building that's on wheels. <laughs> really happy really really fun yeah and it looks like a kettle <laughs> wow oh the crane slide with the baby elephant is gone. oh see i should have of course i would expect such clean work from Wilfred. Yeah, it's really, it's really, really Look fun. Look at that, the really, geometry really well is done. wonderful. And is that the top of a carousel? It is kind of like Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah, absolutely. Mobile teapot and baby elephant. See, it looks like a teapot. <laughs> it's the T-O-W. The, um, on one of those shots, maybe it's the other side of this, the big wheel had um, a skeleton arm on it that was like that part of a locomotive train that I don't know what it's called. So great. What does the pig have in the frying pan? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I guess we've got we did get through them all because here's ours. We got through oh all of them. Well, as you can see, well, we'll I do haven't videos Monday. I haven't processed this photo yet, <laughs> so you can see yeah. like I still haven't fixed the background and all that kind of well, stuff. Well, it was so big, our six foot seamless was not big enough. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? So anyway, here's like the bigger version of it, and then I've done a few close-up shots just so you can see. We did do this like kooky scooter 
in the, the background. The scooter is actually in front of a pile of tires. Of flaming tires. <laughs> and then the, the seller there is selling crossbows and <laughs> um, and spears to a bear with dynamite in his backpack. Yeah. And I know, I, I'm sorry that I didn't get a chance to process that other photo, but it was literally getting these in at the last minute. There it were was so many photos. racing this morning. Um, There's okay. us in the background. Yeah, so here's Richard and I having our coffee as the world is caught, you know, the tires are caught on fire and everything. Yeah, we like to include ourselves in some of our builds. So <laughs> 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 um, and then there's uh, several places where we have like electrical wires hanging overhead that are all gray, yeah. gray Lego string. And there's the sushi barge. With the and you can see that um, there's electricity actually coming down from the windmill and and um, yeah. electrifying the boat and a couple of the buildings. <laughs> but you can see the windmill super angled. Yeah. Flynn and Richard monkeys. Oh, so this was a fun moment last night. This was in the middle of last night, and Richard was like, well, we need a skeleton. I'm like, well, it can't be a, um, a human skeleton. And then we remembered that we had these steer skulls, so we stuck a steer skull, um, which doesn't really fit, by the way. Um, there is a little bit of um, a little a glue, dot. glue dot there. Not glue, but just like a little just piece a of dot. Tape glue. And then, um, and then we attached it on, and it was just so wrong and ridiculous. <laughs> and the, the bed is falling off what remains of the floor above. Yes, and then we d we had to add the bottle on there as a sort of tribute to Pirates of the Caribbean ride. <laughs> so Minotaur cameo. Um, and then... Oh, Wilfred thinks about the electrical wires. And then here's the train. The final version of the train with its leaking... Um, uh, Radi waste. radioactive <laughs> tanks on the top of it driven by a cow and then like some tires in the back because you need more tires for the tire fire and you probably yeah. need more tires to to you know fix up all of the vehicles when they come in and <laughs> we collaborated a lot on the train i did um i spent a lot of time getting it working and able to go around the curves and <laughs> we did end up losing the going up and down hills it just caused too many problems yeah we did end up having now i think we can show this video. Oh, Patrick, video. thanks about the train. And and Flynn did the finishing detail work on the train, too. Oh, nope. We'll get that turned no. sideways before Monday. See, this is why we were waiting. I, Sorry about that. Yeah, so the videos have not all processed properly yet. And that one came into us sideways. But I'm going to try and find this so we can show you um, our video, which should show up here when I do this. Okay. Uh, here we go. It is amazing. There we go. Here's our, here's our little video. We need a apocalyptic soundtrack. So you can go past the buildings. You can see the train coming around. In the foreground, there's a rabbit who's hitting Fighting scorpions. Off scorpions with a carpet beater. <laughs> So yeah, there's a sushi bar, our build room, because it won't all fit. <laughs> oh, there you can see the electrical cables coming off of the... Off the yeah, we need, need transformers. I'm checked into transformers the way Jake is checked into vehicles. You just understand. <laughs> I can make a transformer. <laughs> uh, and insulating. Here we are in front of the tire Here fire. Here we are in front of the tire fire. That's the end. There you go. <laughs> so that's what we were up to. So, like I said, we will have su we surprisingly got through all oh. of the slides, which I'm super impressed by. Go back to what Blair said there. What was that? Um, just scroll up a little bit. What did he say? One more. There. Up down hills, uh, Blair had to abandon for custom monorail too. Good effort though. You know what? I tried so hard. And it just, it wanted to skip gears, it yeah. was jumping, and then um, they had to be really tall to hide the motor, so when they would go down a hill, they would want to hit. It's just a big problem. Like, people in our train club like to go one plate over the course of yeah. a whole piece of track, <laughs> and I'm like, we gotta go six inches, and then... 
<laughs> well, y'all, I'm just, I can't tell you how impressed I am. And we will, like I said, we will watch, we'll have like a little video show on Monday. Yeah, it'll um, be where like we'll, a, where a we'll movie. feature the little, we'll have like a little movie day. Yep. Um, and we'll probably be doing, wait, there was something else we were going to do on Monday too. Well, oh yeah, we were, we're going to show Moto's the rest car. of the slides. Um, we'll show Moto's car. We'll show all of the videos. And gosh, y'all, I can't tell you. Here, round of applause for yeah. Tricky Lug. Round of really applause for nice Tricky Lug. Work. Everybody did a great job. Um, we and I know I wasn't able to show all of all of the photos, but golly, there were sure oh, there were a lot of photos. Yep. Um, and I'm just so impressed, and all the vehicles and all of the everything. <laughs> well, I think I discovered Fab Max for me was really hard because I want to make everything cute, and then how do you mess it up and still stay within the color palette? Right. And I think people did a great job of that. Right. Um, Joshua, were we able to recover your video? I will have to look. I made a, like, I just made a folder. Um, I just made a folder. Let me see if yours is in here. Uh, I don't see anything, Joshua, but let's talk about that before Monday, all right? Let's, yeah, we want to um, make sure, sure and show it. We, you know we like to show everything here, and golly, when you're dealing with 135 photos and then now all of a sudden videos, and I'm also, of course, um... Uh, doing, um, getting these all ready for BrickCon, which I'm yeah, going to be mailing those just... in today. Um, I've already spoken with them. They're all really excited. Everybody's going to get credited. Um, it's just going to be really fun. Um, yeah. So, um, so movie fest, film festival on. Yeah. Monday. Movie film oh, is, and there's a video of of. Um, yeah, Moto has a video. Moto's video too. Cool. I've got. A, we have about. Um, let me see. Let me look again. Is it like eight videos or? Yeah. 10? No. 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 Any, I don't think. Oh no, you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right uh, plus Joshua's is ten videos. Ten videos. Have little ten, cool. ten videos to show. Well, um, how fun! Like, not only do I mean, really, this is just us getting together and hanging out, but it's also kind of a lug meeting, and now we're doing a convention too. Yes, like, that's some serious <laughs> Lego fandom going on. Hey, so everybody, I wanted to um, I wanted to put out there, um, oh, instant messenger because you weren't able to go to the email. Okay, Joshua, okay. let's talk about that and we'll we'll figure that out before Monday, the Monday show for sure. Um, Leave this note. Uh, I can also drive mine around live on Monday. Oh, we could talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Oh, he says Schefter. I just said it. All right, Blair, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, let's talk about that. Um, I. Um, Hello, Melissa. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the stream. Everybody Quite give nice. a hello to Melissa, who's just joining us. Uh, <laughs> this was, um, wow, what a fantastic group of builds and builders. And Now, here's something that I wanted to put out to y'all. Um, uh, oh, yes, don't forget, there is a Super Baby Justice League thing happening still. Um, and by the way... And if, if, who do you get in touch with to talk about Brickinista that? Brickinista or Monica. And now I did want to also mention that there is a um, well Holly is doing um, a, an event at there, but oh, like BrickCon isn't actually greet. until next weekend, not this not weekend. Not this weekend. Next weekend. Yeah, don't go this weekend. Um, it won't be very exciting. So here's next something weekend. that I wanted to ask y'all. Now I know that we didn't do a build challenge last week because we were we wanted to prepare everybody for this. Yep. Now. I don't know about y'all, but we are we are pretty exhausted. <laughs> well, we went straight from from the, the, IKEA the project. Lego IKEA project straight into this. So like every night has been building. So I'm curious, do you all want to do a build challenge this week? Because it seems like a lot <laughs> on top of everything that we just did. But if you really really want a if you really want one, we can arrange for that. But would um, we announce it? Um, how about this? Why don't you let us know whether you want one this week or not, and we could announce it on Monday if we're going to have it. Otherwise, it's chill week. Something I mean, minimalist. Oh, that's a good idea. I thought so, too. Pretty small. Uh, how about... Uh, the challenge should be not to build, but to clean up our build spaces. <laughs> <laughs> we... Um, we have to do that. See, some okay. How about something, <laughs> something small? I'm down for it. Okay, all right, all right. Let's do this. I like these. Um, I like some. I like a sort of a combination of the ideas here. Yeah, I like. Um, I like that one. This is gonna be. 
an eight by eight challenge. Yay! One of our you first could ones only we did build on an eight by eight plate, and the scene should be something that includes you. However, so you interpret that. Whether that's your sig fig or the way that you make your sig fig, or maybe you 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 feel like you're represented by a fabulous figure. Or doing an abstract flower, whatever you think is you, right? Doing something that you like. So you have an a, basically an 8x8 minifig vignette that represents you. Yep. Or yeah, like Remy Baker says, 8x8 sig fig challenge. There you go. 8x8 eight eight sig it. fig challenge. And don't worry if you don't have a particular sig fig. I bet you that you can put something together with what you've got. Yeah, so just something that it doesn't need to be your forever fig. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So there you go. 8x8 eight eight minifig vignette sig fig. Wow, lots challenge. of people could do that. Yeah. I think it's like a self portrait. I love it. And even if you wanted it just to be the figure, that's totally fine. You can do that. And remember, 8x8 eight eight can be this tall. It can be it can also be that tall. tall. Yep, exactly. And I think I know what I'm going to do with mine. But really? Just story. that fast? Well, when you said that, it made me think of something. Of course. <laughs> we, like, we like building tall. Well, we had so much fun with this. I hope you did, too. And it's going to be great showing it at the convention, too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just, I'm so um, we, impressed and proud of everybody. And you all really stressed yourselves on this one. And you stretched, also... Stretched, right? That's what, I mean, did I say stress? I thought stress. Stressed. <laughs> that's S like... Stretched. Right? Stretched. Um... Yeah, so uh, you really stretched yourselves, and you really, like, like man, really went all out. Like, I'm just so in, um, I'm just so impressed by everything that everyone did, and, and thank you so much um, for participating and joining in on this, like, completely kooky idea. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think there's something to this, just, um, you know, all sharing building together because I really feel like if you look back over the episodes, the things that we built at the very start together and mm -hmm. the things that we're building now together, yeah, there's this this thing that's happened, this wonderful creative thing. Yeah. So thank and, you all for being part of it. Yep. It's amazing. All right, everybody. Well, that about wraps it up for today. Uh, don't forget that um, the the new build challenge, the 8x8 Sig Fig Challenge, is due next Thursday. No, homework. I know. Sorry. Now that you've done the giant test exam. I know. <laughs> now you have you know, so now you have fun work. Smaller homework. horizons. I said fun work. Wow, I'm really just mixing up things today. Um, so what an incredible community. You're right, Patrick. It is an incredible community. And we're excited um, to show everybody stuff at BrickCon. It's so really, really fun. Um, and I and we will definitely be doing stuff like this again. All right? Yep. Tricky Luck has synergized. Maybe not next it week. It has synergized. <laughs> Very good. Oh, Christopher, we're so glad you joined as well. Yeah, I was super glad that you were able to join today. And um, golly, where were we? Oh, yes. So if you want to, uh, when you send your challenge photo, mm -hmm. or I'm oh, sorry, if you want to Let's email all take us, a deep breath together. You can do that. Flynn <sighs> at trickybricks.com. All right? <laughs> we came back to casual. And, yes. And then if you want to send us something uh, in the snail mail, and actually yep. we have a couple of letters that we didn't get to today because we had so much to do. I know. Um, but we will definitely They're be waiting. doing that. Um, and you can Probably get us day. at... Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California, 94611. Um, we and, love getting mail and sharing mail with you. Yes, absolutely. And I got to say, the other day, um, I was having a really, really, really difficult day. And we got a, um, a letter from our friend Liam that really turned my entire day around. So I just want everybody out there to know... Um, that how much the things that you that you send the letters and things that you send to us mean to us they're very meaningful and they yep. and they they impact us in ways that you probably don't know but I just wanted you to know that that gosh we really do appreciate it yep big hug yes. for tricky lug oh look at that I, we went blurry I mean, we went out of focus <laughs> yeah all right then um, all right everyone so until Sunday. 
at 10 a.m. Is that right? Sunday yep. at 10 Remember, a.m. Remember, this Sunday at 10 a.m. We're and here. we will. Will Tricky Bricks uh, be doing anything special for Halloween? Yes. I can't <laughs> imagine that we would. It's a. It's going to be an entire Halloween month. All it, right. It's like, our favorite holiday. Uh, just so you know, all of October, all of the build challenges are going to be um, are going to be Halloween themed. Spooky. So just like gear yourself up. Get for ready. That. Don't get scared. Um. And let me see, what else? Anybody else? Anything else Doc I'm Samson. missing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Christopher Coster, Bricktober. So, okay. All right, well, thanks everybody so much for joining us. We will be back on Sunday at 10 a.m. And until then, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. Happy building. <laughs>